And coverage continues right now with, with uh, WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane. Also in Rock Hill, you have been covering this story since this morning. And Richard, you spoke exclusively with the suspect's father just a little bit ago. What did he tell you? Yeah, he was, uh, as you can understand, Carolyn, uh, devastated by the news or actually what unfolded in the house right behind me. I'll step out of the way, let uh, uh, Kevin shoot in a little bit. You can see the house. Police officers surrounded that house late last night after they determined that Adams was inside the house. They got his mother and father to come outside and then Adams barricaded himself inside the house and then took his life. Of course, devastating and tragic news for everyone in this community who knew the, who knows the family, the Adams family, as well as the Leslie family, which lives just less than a mile away from where we're standing right now. Now, as far as his father said, one of the proudest days was when his son was drafted into the NFL. He played at Rock Hill High School. One of the most painful was last night, of course. Here's what he had to say. He's a good kid. He was a good kid, and he, uh, I think the football messed him up. Um, you know, I, I don't think he ever did anybody any harm. And he just could not understand what happened as for as for what he thinks might have been the cause or this set this all off. We didn't discuss that, but we did discuss some other things. We have more coming up in 30 minutes about what he actually says. And he has a message for the Leslie family, a family that he says he's known for years as well. Carolyn. So, so Richard, any inclination um, why why this happened? Um, do we know if, if they if they knew each other before this? Yeah, we can tell you that, that both, both uh, the, the Adams family as well as Adams knew the Leslie family and Dr. Leslie. Uh, uh, and we can say that also everyone in this community knew everyone else. There still is no answer as to why it happened. That's something that police are continuing to investigate. We can tell you that we spoke to a neighbor who said that uh, for a while, uh, Philip Adams was, was always someone who would speak and laugh and wave at people. And over the last few weeks, he had not been doing that kind of sullen and just keeping more to himself. But then again, his father also said he was quiet and kept to himself as well. Uh, he died right behind me here at his own house. He had just moved back with his family just a, few, a short while ago from Fort Mill, his father says. And his father's still trying to make sense of this all, as everyone else in this community is as well. Uh -huh. Gosh, Richard, thank you so much. And we're going to continue uh, to follow this case throughout the rest of the day. Coming up at 2, as Richard mentioned, we are going to hear directly from the police. So you can watch that right here on WCNC Charlotte, or you can stream it live on our mobile app and follow along there for the latest updates wherever you are. Our app is free to download.